So I've been on the force now for a long time. <laughs> yeah, a long time. Seen lots of interesting characters, but you know, in six months, one is bound to see a lot of crazy people on the sidewalk. <laughs> yeah, I really enjoy being a traffic cop. You're really one with the people, you know? With the finger resting gently on the pulse of society, really listening to that heartbeat. And when it asks for advice, I'm always right there to lead. And, uh... <laughs> give directions to the nearest Arby's. Hey, pig! Stop wasting my f***ing tax dollars! Get to work, asshole! Yeah, we get that kind of thing a lot, but I know what they really mean. It's just a nice way of saying, thanks for the good work, keep it up. F*** you, pig! Where's the donuts? Well, looks like the church is about to let out. I better take my position. This is the biggest day for traffic cops. Sunday, the day all the Christians go to church. And when they let out... I'm here to help them pull out of the driveway and onto the highway. <laughs> it's a tough job, but someone's got to do it. Actually, we get paid overtime just for sitting here, so it's a good gig. Come on out. You're good. Hey, watch it, asshole. I'm driving here. Hey, what gives, pig? We're trying to pull out. You wave us in front of oncoming traffic? Where did you learn to be a traffic cop? The go-kart palace? Yeah, I get that a lot. These guys don't quite appreciate the help we traffic cops are out here to give, but that's why I'm a public servant. I take the thankless jobs. Come on through. Ghost is clear. Hey, f*** you, Koopa. How about directing traffic in a sewer and get the hell out of here? <laughs> I always thought the church people would be more understanding of the position I hold, but they seem to have the nastiest mouths of anyone I see out here on the street. 2212 in progress, 2212, on the corner of Buttocks and Shaft Streets. Jaywalker in progress. All traffic units respond. Well, finally, got some action. Gotta go! Hey, pig face. F*** you. Get back to your post. It's a hard job, all right, but when there's a traffic violation in progress, these guys just have to fend for themselves. I gotta get while a getting's good. 2212 is a jaywalker. In fact, it's multiple jaywalkers. I haven't had the opportunity to bust one of these bad boys my whole time here. I despise traffic violators. There's a crosswalk, you know? So I'll do whatever I have to just to bring these scumbags to justice. Oh my god! My wife, Jessie! Jessie, wake up, darling, wake up! Don't leave me like this with these. these people! Alright, everyone, calm down. Traffic Sergeant Plow has arrived. What seems to be the trouble? Well, officer, my wife and I just left our home and we were on our way to suck blood of our neighbor. I mean, eat dinner with our neighbor. And. When we went to cross the street, a madman drove right into my wife. Huh. Daywalkers, eh? What did you call me? Uh, jaywalkers. You know, sir, you can't just cross the street without looking twice. A and certainly not outside of a designated crosswalk. There is no crosswalk. This is a neighborhood, you dummy. And that driver was going far too fast. Must have been 65 miles an hour. Okay, son, okay, I understand. I just need to ask you a few questions. Okay, no problem. What is your name, son? Val Paler. Nice to meet you, Val. I'm Sergeant Plow. Sergeant Plow? What kind of name is that? What, is this a joke? My wife is dying. No, son, that is my real name. But I need to make a report here. What is your wife's name? She is Jessie. We are the Paler family. We live right there. Sir, excuse me. We need to get her to the hospital. What took you so long? My wife has lost a lot of blood. I will replace it with the blood from your face if you don't save her. No problem, sir. We're taking her to Justice Hospital right around the corner. All right, Mr. Paler, I think you better start from the top. 
Tell me again how this happened. I already told you. We were leaving our house, and when we came to the street, we saw nothing coming, and we began to cross. Out of nowhere, this car came flying through and ran right into (sighs) Jessie. I think she's going to die, officer. What are you going to do about this outrage? We will try to find the perpetrator, Mr. Paler, but first... I must take care of the 2212 in progress. 2212? What are you talking about? Well, sir, you were, in fact, jaywalking. And uh, I'm afraid in the town of Justice, Louisiana, that's a misdemeanor. I'm going to have to issue a ticket. A ticket? Are you crazy? You must be out of your mind. My wife might be dead and you're charging me with jaywalking. Sir, the law is the law. And I am a traffic cop. I got to do what I got to do. Now, let me just write this thing up. Sir... I am very sorry to inform you. Your wife didn't make it. She's gone. All right, Mr. Paler, here's your ticket. You can take care of this on the 15th at Justice City Courthouse. My wife has died, and you're giving me a ticket because you just have to do what you have to do? That's about the long and short of it, son. I am sorry about your wife. Please make sure to look both ways next time you cross the street. I understand, officer. I also understand... That I have to do what I have to do. (laughs) Hmm. All positive. I would not have expected that from such a negative policeman. Well, I'm a vampire traffic cop now. Been on the force for eight months total. But I've only been a vampire for the last two. It's a thankless job, but now I can feed on my victims and give them traffic violation tickets. It's a thankless job, but someone's got to do it. 2212 in progress. 2212. <laughs> There's always a jaywalker in Justice City. Someday I'll bring them all to justice. But for now, it's feeding time. <laughs> Next time on Traffic Cops, Sergeant Plow has a run-in with a demon who just ran his last red light. Will he catch him in time to write up a ticket? Or will he feed on his blood and forget? Anything can happen when the traffic cops are on the scene. But you'll have to find out on the next episode. Live from the AOK Production House, studio number two, because we're not great. We're just okay. I'm Nico Kelly. I'm Derek Daisy. <laughs> and you're listening to To The Echo Radio Show. Yeah, you are. Critically acclaimed in the newspaper. Well, I don't know if we're critically acclaimed. They didn't really say we're a good show. <laughs> they didn't, did they? No. They were just like, they're a show, <laughs> and they're local. Well, they did say that you must know them. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> but do they know us? I don't know. Yeah, I'm looking at the paper right here. Should we read the article? Yeah, we should. Why not? All right. Well, since I got it right in front of me. I, I got you a nice little copy just for you. I appreciate that. You know, I I do have to call them out for one thing. What do they do? Now, uh, the picture uh, is, if you look in the first, uh, the inside of the front cover, uh, it, the picture is um, of me, and uh, that's cool because it's outlining, you know, here's what's inside, you know, here's my picture. Yeah. Um, But... So that was cool, because we're not the number one in the list. We're number two oh. behind another podcast called F&B. Now, I don't know if this was some kind of a ranking or if it's just you know the number that they interviewed people. I have no idea. Wow, they didn't even have a picture of me. Yeah, I was disappointed. I sent her several pictures. Uh, they just used the first one I sent. Oh. oh. So so it goes. But uh, mm-hmm. anyway, we are, the, we are the headline in the index of the newspaper. Yeah. So that was cool, but... Yeah. The caption spells my name correctly. 
Yeah. O apostrophe K E L L E Y. Yeah. And then the article throughout the entire thing uh-huh. spells it with no E before the Y. <laughs> well. So I'm not sure who um you know, who did the proofreading on the caption as opposed to who proofread the article. Yes. Uh I was I was slightly disappointed. You know, looking at some of these pictures of these other uh podcast i think our stuff looks a little more professional it does doesn't it? <laughs> that's funny that's pretty funny i was hoping you would say that yeah it's like these people are just kind of huddled around a macbook i mean they got really nice arms yeah but the microphones are like I, they're like radio shack their bodies mics. are in prime physical condition yes but, i mean uh, they look great i mean if they had anything on us it's good looks jesus but uh in terms of set up i think we win <laughs> i think so i think we win yeah and I you know you notice good. that the cloud now uh-huh. we use uh so we'll, we'll give a little behind the scenes for you the article yeah. we'll give you a little behind the scenes okay. look into what our equipment is yeah. um we use sure sm7b microphones which are uh not to brag but they're 400 hundred dollar microphones yeah this is expensive equipment yes and this is what joe this is it's, it's the end thing yeah so okay. joe rogan uses it joe rogan uses yeah, it michael yeah. jackson recorded oh, yeah, thriller yeah, on this microphone <laughs> yep um, so it's definitely the hot topic. It's um, good, Mike. But uh, in order to use these, it's very strange to me. Yeah. Um, but to get a decent sound, you need to use what they call a cloud lifter or a similar preamp. Some kind of preamp, yeah. But if you notice in that picture, yeah. Whenever you get, whenever you unbox the cloud lifter, which is what I have on all three of our Shure SM7Bs, you yeah. get a little magnet yeah. that says cloud. Um, and then the the wire tie that says Road because that's the uh, that's the brand of the arm, so you can oh. see those in there. It's like a little product placement, right? <laughs> it's good. Um, I only have the cloud magnet on one microphone though because uh, whenever we're done with yours, we spin it around and uh-uh. it's falling off a lot. So. Yeah, that's all right. Anyway, I thought that was kind of cool. Maybe we can get a sponsorship. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> so if you're listening to a local podcast, yeah, have fun. Yeah, for God's sakes. Uh, um. Well, all right. Well, I guess I'll read it. Yeah, do it. To the Echo Radio Show. Where to listen? To the Echo.com, iTunes, Stitcher, uh, iHeart Podcasts, Podbean, Spreaker, Player FM, Google Play, and more. You also noticed that we were the only ones that had a list that long. Yeah, where's everybody else? I don't know. Oh. But we have an entire list of where we are. Yeah, we're not on SoundCloud, <laughs> but yeah, but we have more. Nobody else has more. Yeah, that's right. That's good. In fact, they didn't list it for anyone else. Yeah. I think. Uh, yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Everybody else, there was like two or three each. So I'm not sure how you, I mean, of course, you could Google search the name. Yeah, yeah. But we directly put you to where we are. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. All right. Nicholas O'Kelly. That's right. And Derek Daisy. Yes. Both with experience in the entertainment industry, talk entertainment news and music trends, and perform improv sketches on their podcast, to, right. the, to the Echo, uh, which garners a few thousand listens per episode. We make each... Oh, here we go. We make each other laugh, <laughs> so we figure we can make other people laugh, too, said O'Kelly. <laughs> in my, my, my best Kermit the Frog voice. <laughs> Well, you did this interview, so I don't have to That's do That's actually me. how I was talking, yeah. so I don't know how you okay. do that. <laughs> Good. <laughs> the, the podcast actually originated back in 2009 when Charleston Internet Radio Station Kinetic Hi-Fi was a platform for radio-style shows beyond the traditional airwaves. There you go, Boyd. Uh, you can give me credit for giving you a plug. Yeah, and you're not, now defunct radio. <laughs> uh, when Clear Channel took over the radio... <laughs> People who were creative couldn't just get on the radio anymore, Oh, says O'Kelly. Yeah. But they could go get a website, set up a home studio, and put out content. Oh, the ease of that led us into this. That's right. Almost a decade later, To The Echo has embraced a variety of new podcast formats, from Spreaker.com to the Apple's I- Apple iTunes podcast app. Yeah. And has finally transitioned from recording phone interviews to hosting in-person interviews. Yeah. The podcasters are looking for locals to feature, like two of their recent guests, Charleston Band Business Suit and theater troupe The Flower Town Players. That's right. Um, so uh, it, there you go, Flower Town. And if you'd like to have <laughs> sex with the host, call this. Whoa, what's now that that's, about? that's uh that's the adults only side oh, of the conversation. Oh, oh. So I, why why am I not involved in this? Why is it just your? I phone was talking number? about you. Oh, whatever, <laughs> whatever. 
Well, at least your face is in this twice. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. We were in the index. You know what this tells me? This tells me I took a good picture of you. I know. You son of a bitch. No, I, I, <laughs> why am I better at everything? <laughs> why? What, why? Why do I always... <laughs> your picture was good, too. Fuck. <laughs> I didn't finish it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't finish it, but I, uh, you know, you know what I was gonna say, you son of a bitch. I don't have my censorship. Be- I, you know, I need to put that in as a sound effect. You really? I've do. never set it up as a sound effect. You're never gonna be able to preemptively delete me unless I say, "All right, here I come." I stick my middle finger up to let you know it's coming. <laughs> That's it's what coming. You do. And f- beep. you, yeah, beep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's yeah. it. Uh, I thought that was really cool, though. Yeah, I, I, it is. I, I did. I did send them several uh, pictures. So, yeah. I only think I'm bummed about is they didn't put the thing in there about the Goo Goo Dolls. Me too. I, That's, was, I just told Ashley that I was really I was, hoping yeah. we could put because that I wanted to tweet them. Yeah, and me I, too. The, the other weird thing is, uh, and by the way, uh, Post and Courier, thank you. Thank very you. Much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. I mean, we're so not much. we're not complaining. Not complaining. I mean, uh, we. I mean, of course, we're, we're complaining. Look, but, I mean, it, we would not be a radio show if we didn't sit here and complain about something. Yeah, I know, and we really had nothing to complain about tonight so we're gonna pick on you yeah so no but we really appreciate the <laughs> exposure actually yes. we've already booked a um a, a band in september yeah because uh, of this as a result of that yeah so post and courier yeah. your reach now i don't know where they come from yeah um i'll have to talk to them a little bit further but we did get an email yesterday in fact um asking if they could come on September 9th, because they're gonna. It's a band touring. Yeah. the southeast. Yeah, and they're coming through Charleston. Yeah, they're gonna play the Windjammer. Yeah, yeah, that's so cool. So I was very excited. Now yeah. I don't know how they saw Charleston scene. Maybe they just saw it online because I I don't think they're from here. I no, they're not. Um, cause, well, they emailed a few days ago. Um, I let you know about it last night. I, yeah, I, I, th- I was out of town. I thought you had seen it, but. Yeah, I thought you had all this free time in Omaha, yeah. Nebraska. Nick, tell us about that trip. <laughs> so, I have to say, yeah. I had a great time. Um, I got to travel for work. Yeah. I mean, you know, it, it's work. It's not like I went out and partied. But I've mm. never been to the Midwest. <laughs> yeah. No, I didn't. Yeah, I, I worked quite a bit, actually. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> uh, I did, though. My cousin lives there, um. and I haven't seen him. It was wild. Um, he moved away from where I grew up when I was 12. Yeah. And he was 18. And then he got married when he was 22, and I was 16. Mm. Um, and I I saw him a few years after he got married, and that was the last time. So it's been years yeah. since I've been able to see him. He listens to the show. Oh, good. In fact, I um, while we were there, uh, yeah. you know, I, I gave him our links. He, he listened to our old, my old shows as well. Yeah. But I, I gave him a link to a very funny video. Um, I'll just leave it at that. I don't know if you noticed, but he tweeted it to us because he thought it was so funny. Two girls in a cup? <laughs> no, no, That's no. not that funny. No, no. It's really gross. It's, uh... <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, he listens, so, you know, hello, Jason. What, what video? You gotta tell me. Uh, I've, I've told you about it. It's a, it's a guy I know and the music that he does. What? <laughs> I'll tell you about it off air. Uh, well, that... I don't want to embarrass anybody. Yeah, but it's on Twitter. <laughs> it, for some, I thought you deleted it, actually. Because it did not, he tweeted uh, our name. Yeah, but it never showed up in our feed, so you didn't delete it. I, it wasn't me, dude. I thought I was wondering if you. I didn't see it, and I, I was wondering if maybe you saw that and thought, "What the heck is this?" Dude, I don't go out of my way to delete tweets. Well, I didn't know. Yeah. Um, I don't have time for that. Crap. So in between shows, All right, I'll well, tell you. Okay, <laughs> it's not our fault. He tweeted us. Well, I mean, I think we should be able to uh, to diverge and talk about this. So anyway, uh, I did get to see him. He lives in Omaha. That was very cool. Yeah. Um, but I've never been to the Midwest, hmm. and I have to say, first of all, it was great. I mean, it really made me feel American. Yeah. I guess because you see fields of green everywhere, just like the song says. And there's. I've never seen so much corn in my entire life. There's a lot of data centers up there. Yes. I think Apple's getting one up there. Facebook has one. Facebook, uh, Google yep. has one. Yeah, there's a lot of them up there. Yeah. So the site that I was working at mm-hmm. was literally, I mean, no exaggeration, yeah. in the middle of a cornfield. <laughs> the company had bought land in between one cornfield uh, and another one. Oh. And it was all you could see on both sides yeah. was corn. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. Yeah. I mean, very, very expansive. It was funny. Omaha, the city, uh, the the downtown area, I should yeah. say, reminded me a lot of Charlotte. Okay. You know, you've got your big buildings, right. and it's kind of a one-mile, two-mile city square kind of thing. Right. 
Um, but the difference was in Charlotte, outside of that, you have expansive ghetto. Yeah. Uh, outside of this. Love the ghetto. Yeah, yeah. me too. Outside of this was a zoo and cornfields. Oh. Um, so it was really, really something to see. Wow. Really something to see. Oh, do you think you're going to have a big boy job after that? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Did you feel good about it? I, I did. I felt very good. Okay. Uh, in fact, uh, several people told me uh, that they assumed that I was a full-timer oh. because they generally do not let contractors travel yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, so I felt very good. Good. But we'll see. Yeah. But anyway, it was really cool. I, I, I have to recommend. You know, I, I never thought I'd go to Nebraska. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Wow. Yep. That's pretty neat, Nick. So that was my week. Uh, the only thing I did last week um, was I did finally finish my couch potato to 5K. Out. And I saw that you signed up for uh, a turkey run. Yeah, I'm going to do that <laughs> on Thanksgiving morning. Because now what I'm doing is I downloaded the f- 5K Pacer app, yeah. which is going to help me get through it faster. Very cool. So, yeah, because I don't want to take 33 minutes. I really want to be done with it in 25 minutes. Yeah. Just get the hell out of there. <laughs> I've never heard of the turkey run that's here in Charleston. It's downtown Charleston. Very cool. I, yeah, I mean, everybody at my work does it every year, and uh, I've always been too fat and shamed well, <laughs> to do it, and now I think Now you I can, can do it and then eat turkey. Yeah, that's right. Well, feel good about it. Yeah, maybe. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> I wonder what makes it a turkey run. Do they give you a turkey? No, it's just because it's on Thanksgiving. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's is that, on Thanksgiving? It's on Thanksgiving morning. I thought morning. I said it was the 22nd. No, Thanksgiving oh, morning. interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yep, because I... I I, well, I, I put online, I'm like, well, I'll see if I can get off that day. It sounds like everybody's getting off, so I don't know if they're going to let me off. He's like, Derek, Thanksgiving, you're going to have off. <laughs> oh, all right, I guess I can't get out of that one. <laughs> now you can do the uh, the bridge run next year. Yeah, well, that's a 10K. So uh, after I complete this and do the 5K pacer, I'm going to, uh, if I stay on course, Yeah. I get down my 200 pounds of all that. I'm going to do the couch to 10K app. It's, I think you can do it. Yeah. I think I can, too. I mean, that'll give me plenty of time. But if I can do that 10K, then that means i got to sign up for a Star Wars run. Because yeah. every year in April, they do a 5K, 10K, and a half marathon through Star Wars. And they're going to do it through Star Wars World or Land yeah. or whatever. Disney has a lot of runs. Yeah. Um, and they're pretty neat. Yeah. I mean, I, I've never done one, but... I've seen yeah. lots of stuff. You, you've seen people run, and <laughs> no, then you but I, ate I, your cheeseburgers. <laughs> no, I've seen lots of stuff on it. Actually, um, the cruise, too, the Disney cruise, mm-hmm. they do a run when you get to their private island. There's mm. one there on every single cruise. Really? And it's and they do them you know, through Disney World. You run through the parks. Right, right. It's neat. The Star Wars one is cool, too, but as right. you're running... You know, there's uh, meet and greets with the characters, and yeah. you take pictures while you're running, and, you know, it's really I, I neat. I don't know how I could be distracted to do that crap. Because for me, it's cheating if I um, <laughs> if I stop. Yeah. It, well, it, like for me, like when my shoe came untied, you know, when I was running and I still had a quarter mile left, I kept running. I was like, no, I can't stop and tie it, or it's, I, I fail. Yeah. I got to do it again. Well, I, th- I mean, this is kind of just this is more for the experience Don't give of a crap. <laughs> But it would be cool to run through the parks. Oh, yeah, yeah, You know, yeah. it's before they open. Yeah, it's $125. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but imagine. I mean, you, you get to run through, like, Epcot. Yeah. You know, actually, I think they run through two parks yeah. on these runs. Yeah. You get your medal no matter no matter what. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's cool. Yeah, you get the medal, which is really neat. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, dude, I want to do it. Um, Star Wars, I'm hoping I could somehow pull this out and do it. I believe in you, I think Peter I could, Pan. Yeah. Wow. The, the one bad thing... I <laughs> the one bad thing yeah. about the bridge run is that it is a complete disaster downtown the day of the bridge run. Oh, I work I work downtown, so I know. I see yeah. it. I oh, see yeah. it every year. Yeah, we, we, we avoid downtown because of it. Dude, um, we uh, we had a great time this year because we're towards the end of the bridge run. Yeah. And uh, my buddy wrote a sign that said halfway there. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he pulled it up and everybody's looking at him like, you son of a bitch. Like people were pissed at him. And then I was playing, uh, I, I had a speaker hooked up to my phone and I was playing, um, uh, living on a prayer. Oh yeah. Halfway there. <laughs> wow. I love that. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> and people are like, you <laughs> f- motherfucker. I know they're like, that's not nice. <laughs> like we got so many looks. It was so funny. Yeah. To us. Um, and they were really like two turns away from being done. Like not even a quarter mile. <laughs> but I mean, how deflating. Cause I, I think about that now. If yeah. I, 
if I ran three miles and I found out, wait, no, that's that's only half of the five k. I'd be like, give me a gun. <laughs> like I couldn't. Yeah. So, um, so that happened, and then um, I I don't know. I got this bug. Not not sick, uh, but a bug uh, in terms of something I wanted to try. Because you know me, I'm always like, how am I going to become a millionaire? Yeah, I know. And you're uh, Eric Cartman. That's yeah, what you I are. I really am. But I <laughs> I've tried to do it in you know effective ways, and it's like, yeah, I could be a rock star, but I don't know if that's already been done. And um, <laughs> it's been done. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if I want to do Aerosmith. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um so i was thinking so i was like i wonder if i could code because i was i uh was working with a guy and helping him through some code and i was like i get this this is really cool yeah and then um so i, I downloaded a udemy course yeah um about javascript so i'm gonna learn that i'm, I'm gonna try i'm gonna okay see. yeah because if you learn that then you you, you kind of know a coding language where you can kind of move to the next one and then maybe one day maybe i'll make million dollars <laughs> i know uh c plus plus do you yeah i had to take it for engineering do you still remember it i, I think if i went and tried to do something i could do it Review. i mean i haven't used it in a while yeah. but yeah i mean it was pretty simple stuff but we had a uh the, the um the final exam yeah was we had a lego car yeah and he put a, a track down and within that i don't know we have an hour and a half i guess mm-hmm. you had to program the cars travel through this little maze yeah Really cool. Well, I, 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 you know, did 13 lectures last night in the Udemy course, and then you had a test yeah. to test if you could do it all. And I was able to do like 95% of it, and there's just one thing I just couldn't remember. And then it showed you. I was like, oh, okay. And then it made sense. Yeah. And I woke up this morning remembering all of it. But, um, you know, because I, I, you know, a few months ago I interviewed uh, with a company. I was trying to get in with uh, Google. Which is, uh, they have a really big data center here, and um, that's right. And I, uh, I don't know. I was really excited. I was like, okay, well, I'll, I'll go. And they're like, well, you got to have a year of Linux experience. I'm like, yeah, sure. So I go online for two hours and read up some terms on Linux and all that. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> that should be good. And uh, I get questioned. You know, the, it's a recruiter company who's trying to pick you up to get you at Google, right? Right. And uh, I called. And uh, we went through the... He's like, well, do you have a year experience? I'm like, well, I've owned a Raspberry Pi for a year. <laughs> <laughs> and that has Linux. <laughs> and he's like, okay, well, well let's, let's see how this goes. And um, <laughs> I, 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 I was told to do this because they said I was a shoe in, that there was people dumber than me at this place. So I said, okay, I'll, yep. I'll try. And I felt like the biggest doofus... Because every question he asked me, I mean, like in terms of Linux stuff, yeah. I think I got two answers right because of the reading that I had done the night yeah. before. But everything else, I, I just couldn't do it. But I, the questions I did get right was troubleshooting and how to fix things like hardware and all that. And that, yeah. so the guy's like, you know what? I'm going to put you through. So he puts me through and then a girl calls me and says, all right, we really got to spice up your resume. Anything and everything, whatever, whatever we got to do to make this sound good. Did you did you touch a computer at Guitar Center? I was like, well, yeah, I I, I did sales there. Sure, well, I touched a computer. She's like, great. So you're a network engineer. Yeah, you know, like she gave me all this shit to really spice it up. I never heard from Google. I never yeah. got a call. They told me they're gonna call. They're probably gonna call you tonight and want to set. No, I never heard from them again. So I was like, well, maybe I can learn some stuff. And Linux. I mean, it's it's interesting. Um... I kind of thought that Linux had gone by the wayside. It's always been the cool thing, you know, that someone says, oh, I have Linux, you yeah, know. but it's a, it's a renegade operation. I've never system. really used it. <laughs> I guess that's that's what it is. What I hear is that it's it's very much like um, a bunch of files. Like, everything's a file. Well, yeah, I mean, the way that... I mean, everything's files in every operating system. But they have a visual... Like, the Linux in a data center is more networking and... You know, you're you're just working in kind of text based things, right. but there is an a, a GUI or a graphic user interface uh, for Linux that looks just like Windows or looks just like Mac. Yeah, it, it's not as good as either of those, but it works. And it's functional. Yeah, because again, I have one on the Raspberry Pi where yeah. I can boot up and do that. So, I'm I'm telling you, I am. Um, <clears throat> speaking of Raspberry Pi, we talked about this last week. Yeah, I have been playing that SNES plug and play uh-huh. non-stop 
Um, yeah, that's why you haven't done anything. <laughs> You're supposed to write three scripts this week. Yeah, and, no, right? And you turned in zero. <laughs> no, I'm um, so yeah, and that Raspberry Pi, I, I've really, I've really thought about. It. I may end up doing it. I don't know if you can uh, help me get what you have. Of course, I can help. But you. Uh, I can help you. I really, I forgot how fun the Mario RPG is. Yeah. Uh, and Star Fox, and I've been playing that Mario Kart game like there's no tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll help you, sir. Yeah, it's it's good because I, I told Ashley the other day I'm gonna have to get the the Sega one, you know, or that because uh, that has Mortal Kombat. Yeah, well, <laughs> I got all the Mortal Kombat's on everything. Yeah, Super Nintendo, Sega, uh, PlayStation, Sega. I, I downloaded the trilogy. Yeah, and that was pretty good. Yeah, dude, Raspberry Pi is the way to go. This SNES has uh, Street Fighter. Yeah, Street Fighter Two. Um. Yeah. I think it's two. Yeah, because yeah. Street Fighter 1 sucked. Come on. Which, you know, it's good, but Mortal Kombat is just better. It's just better. More, yeah, Mortal Kombat, the only thing is it doesn't have any of the blood and guts in the Super Nintendo version. Yeah. In Sega, uh, they did. Oh, yeah. And I know. It's gore and I everything. I loved uh, Bay Ballady and yeah. you know, Fatality, and I'm trying to remember all Bestiality. the other ones. Bestiality. <laughs> yeah, that was a weird one. I know. That, that yeah. meant something very different to me <laughs> as a kid. So my cousin, uh, I actually, he's the one that turned me on to Super Nintendo. I have his old Super Nintendo, the one I saw in Omaha. Yeah. Um, I still have it, and it still works. Um, but oh. this has more games on it, plus the ones I had. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, I um, he was telling me, he asked me, does this plug and play let you put in codes? You know, like you can put in a game code. Uh-huh. I haven't tried it. I didn't know this, uh. but once you beat the 150 CC circuit, which is what I'm about to beat now. Yeah. I'll pretty much beat the whole game. Yeah, pretty much. You can put in a code that turns you small. Like you have um uh like whenever you hit the little Yeah, um, yeah, and it makes you a little Yeah. Got the, 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 the. You, yeah, right. You can do that uh and it makes you small the entire game. Uh. So it's even harder. Uh, yeah. I didn't even know I, about I that. Know I was like, "What?" <laughs> How do you win like that? I don't know. I don't know. That's what he told me. He's yeah. like, yeah, that after you beat the 150 CC, you have to turn yourself small the whole time, and then you know, anytime you get hit, you it's just over. You yeah, just it's over. Squashed. With. Yeah. Ugh. So I was like, oh my god. All right. The whole new world. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, I I haven't really played a lot of games. I mean, I download. I got Madden 19. You know, because yeah. football season. So here's this. This always happens to me every damn year, and it pisses me off with Madden. <laughs> I start a franchise, create my coach, head coach Daisy. You know, he's ready to go. Yeah. I, I skip preseason because after that, we all know that's not the important part. I'll deal with that next year. <laughs> first year, you know, first game. <laughs> and I'm a Steeler fan, so I always pick the Steelers. First game, Ben Roethlisberger breaks his ribs. He's out for eight weeks. <laughs> Brown dislocates or breaks his leg or something, and he's out for ten weeks. Right. I'm like, okay, right there, my two best players. <laughs> and then not only that, but my backup quarterback, who everybody was all excited about us drafting this year, sucks so <laughs> bad. He doesn't do anything. So what do I do? I reset franchise mode, right? Yeah. I'm like, well, I'll, I'll take care of this. Sure. Um, same thing. Ben Roethlisberger breaks a different bone, but he's out for 10 weeks. What? And Brown's out again, and I'm just – it wants me to play with that damn quarterback. I don't want to. He yeah. sucks. <laughs> and and we I was like ah so I delete it do it again third game third game of the season yeah Ben gets injured same but, thing same thing wow I know it's like they did he re- do this in real life no he's not that like he used to, he, he could get injured but not like eight weeks at a time wow. like the most he's ever been out is three or four weeks yeah in a row but God man. So, yeah, I put it down for a little bit because it's really hard to enjoy the game. Now, I know everybody's thinking, just turn off injuries. Well, no, that's not authentic. Yeah. But it's also not authentic that every time I play with my quarterback and my head receiver that they're like they're freaking twigs, you know, and they just break in half the moment somebody touches them. Yeah. That's stupid. <laughs> so, But that's what makes it fun is to put it on the hardest level, which is what you do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah to make it. More difficult, yeah, and I, more realistic. Yeah, I hate last year's Madden, dude. I I was the I, head coach. I had won eight Super Bowls. Yeah, okay, over the span of eighteen years. <laughs> um, I uh, the most four in a row at one point. I was pretty good. Um, won a lot of AFC <laughs> championships. Been to a lot of Super Bowls. Didn't win. It's them all. like real life. Yeah, I. Uh, <laughs> 
pretty much just told Belichick to get out of my way. Get out of my, my way. My my legacy points are so <laughs> high, no other coach we could ever dream to touch me. And I just do it building with draft, man. I, yeah. ju- I knew how to draft. I knew how to trade. I was amazing. Exactly. <laughs> Though I did, what happened? <laughs> Here you go. I got fired. So uh, after winning two Super Bowls in a row, my first two years with the Steelers last year, um, I get um, my third season, and I I set my goal too high because yeah. at the beginning of the season you say how many games you expect to win. You kind of ga- oh really? Kind of gamble your job. That's interesting. And I was like, we're going to the Super Bowl. Didn't make the playoffs. Steelers fire me. <laughs> so I'm out in the open market. Giants are like. We'll take a chance on you. So I have an incredible draft, yeah. and I get an amazing quarterback, and we do all this stuff. I go to the Super Bowl two years in a row with them, <laughs> but I no longer want to work with the Giants because yeah. it's just my heart's not there. No. So uh, what I do in the off season is I trade my best quarterback from the Giants to the Steelers, <laughs> and uh, I just tank a season so the Giants fire me. <laughs> And then the Steelers <laughs> hire me back, and then I keep it going. <laughs> so, all right, we, we've come to our census, Coach Daisy. Let's get you back here. <laughs> it's like uh, as the football team turns. Yeah. Oh, man. I, I'll tell you what. I've been with the Steelers ever since, though. <laughs> they only fired me that once. <laughs> Well, One they, year. They get what they deserve. Two Super Bowls, and then we don't go, and they're like, F you. You've done nothing for this organization. Get the fuck out of my office. Oh, my God. So, there you go. Yeah, so it goes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, video games. I know. Uh, and it's uh, this is probably the most I've played in quite some time, uh, yeah. just in general. And it's, you know, it's old, old games, but yeah. I love them. I know. It's like you have a PlayStation 4 right here. You haven't touched it. Yeah. Except to put our logo on the TV. I know. I know. It's, it's really sad. Stupid? I know. Like, you've had two games up there that you yeah. bought months ago, and yeah. you still haven't even opened them. Yeah. No. Well, yeah. I haven't played Fractured Butthole. Yeah. I need to. I have yeah. played Battlefront 2, just not much. Yeah. Uh, very small amount. I, I will get back into it. I mean, it will happen. Yeah, whatever. It's just, you know. No, it's not. It's so it goes. Happen. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm starting to get into coding, and that's going to start consuming my life. Yeah, as I learn. So, <sighs> coding is uh, it's a good skill to have. Yeah, um, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, uh, I you know Visual Basic I think is kind of the uh, in JavaScript. I mean that's yeah. kind of what JavaScript's in everything. Yeah, it's not just um, the internet, but it's also in apps nowadays and all that. So it's a good base language to learn. Yeah, and then they're going to learn some other ones along the way. But it's one I'm testing it out. It's Eleven bucks for twenty eight hour course. Yeah, you know, and I, I don't really want to go to school for because I was looking online. You know, they have like crash courses as boot camps. You you go to school for like three months. Yeah, and you you pretty much got to quit your job and just do it. It's like heavy duty school, and it's ten grand. And, but when you get out, they say you're going to get a job and, you know, you go out and code. Well, I'm reading online, people are like, you don't have to do that. Just be good at coding. And then when you interview, show a few projects you worked on. And if you know your stuff, you'll get hired. Like, they don't care if you went to school for it or not. If you know how to do it, they're going to Yeah, if you can do it, it, that's it. Yeah. I mean, that's all that matters. I was like, okay, all right. So there's a lot of free resources out there, free coding, free code camp or something. I mean, you're, I mean, you're big into computers you know stuff like that so yeah. it, you know it's not going to be a waste of your time no plus I, you can do some cool stuff just for yourself yeah i mean i'm already thinking of the apps i want to design when i learn how to do it yeah i want to design a uh well so i prototyped an app uh with uh keynote yeah and uh, the way you prototype an app is essentially you make a slide and you kind of draw the what you want the interface to kind of look like right and then you create another slide and then link the first slide of the second one. So like when you press on a button, it takes you to the appropriate slide to show you how it would function. Right. So I made a give me money app <laughs> and it's it pretty much just says, give me money. You it, or give me money. Give me more money. Give me all the money. It's three buttons and it's just a red dollar bill, a yellow dollar bill, green dollar bill. And they're each bigger. <laughs> and when you press on green or if you, when you press on any of them, I'm like, thank you for the money. Give me more money. And you tap on it <laughs> and it goes back to the first page. You just keep giving me money. It's great. Do you remember the calculator games that were big in uh, when we were in high school and middle school? Yeah, it, with the really high end $100 yeah, with the calculator you had to have. Yeah. One was Pimp Wars. Did you ever play that? No. Oh, man. 
this was great. You know, this was this was the thing to do. Like people, someone had it, and you would copy it onto your calculator, and you felt like you'd done something cool. Yeah, you know, because you have a game on your calculator. Hell yeah. One was Pimp Wars, and you're a pimp, and the whole goal is like it, it's you know you'd come up to somebody and you'd have like a selection menu. Yeah. And you would click like one, two, or three to pimp this person, like beat them up or you know forget about them or something. And like the way you won was like you got to this level where you would <laughs> pimp Elmo. <laughs> And so, like, it was like Pimp Elmo or a dead guy or just, it was all this ridiculous stuff. Yeah. You ever played this? No, never. Oh, man, this was huge. Everybody in my class had Pimp Wars. Oh. And we played it all the time, you know, on the calculator. No wonder your parents <laughs> wanted to keep you locked away in your house. God. I did program a pretty cool thing in C++. We learned how to uh, program, like, a um, a gambling, um, like a slot machine yeah. program. Yeah. And uh, it was a random, it was a randomized uh, code that you put together. It would give you a different answer each time. Oh, that was pretty cool. I, I want to do like the. It's something simple, but it's stupid. It's simple though. Is I want to make like a rock paper scissors game. Yeah, that's kind of what this was. Yeah, yeah. same same sort of thing. Yeah, it was yeah. a randomized uh, count. You know, yeah, you, you have a sin and a count. And the count would be random. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's kind of. I mean, that's going to be a very simple thing. I'm sh- I'm sure I'll be able to develop it and put it together in a few weeks. The thing is, where I work at my job, I can't come out with a I think code or a program for 18 months after I leave. Yeah, they'll own it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So anything I make yeah. wouldn't be for profit, and that wouldn't be the point. It would be just to learn how to do it. Um, yeah. I worked. I work. I did work, of course, for yeah. an auto manufacturer yes. with, with the same sort of rules, yeah. and I had a colleague. We'll leave the names out of this. Yeah. It was not me, but <laughs> I did have a colleague who programmed a lot of databases. Yeah. A lot. Uh, he was very, very good yeah. with programming, Visual Basic. Very good. Uh-huh. Which, that's a cool thing for you to start with. Have you ever used Microsoft Access? Mm-hmm. No. So, it, it's a database creation program uh-huh. in Microsoft Office. And you can build a database to do anything, but you code it. You have to code it. All of it. All yeah. it's all uh, Visual Basic. Yeah. Go check it out. It's a really mm-hmm. neat way to, to to put that kind of thing to use. Yeah. Anyway, you know we had a database for everything. You yeah. know, for I, I mean I don't want to go through all of it. It's proprietary. But um, <laughs> when he the first time he said he was going to leave the job, uh, and it happened several times, he loaded it all into his uh, external hard drive. And just took them all home. And we didn't have them. <laughs> because he designed it? He designed them. So he's like, no, oh, a few guys. So uh, nothing ever happened to him. I don't uh, know if anybody knew besides me and you know, my other engineering colleagues. But, mm. uh, yeah, at one point, uh, all of our main databases that we used disappeared. <laughs> well, that's, yeah, but, I mean, if he created them on the clock, they totally own it. And they oh, could yeah. have totally gone after him and sued Absolutely. him. Absolutely. I'm oh, kind of surprised they didn't. Oh, my God. Some, well, of them were, some of them were old and weren't being used, but some of them were. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So that was, I always thought that was really funny. He's like, well, I'm taking this home. And, yeah. <laughs> and you, uh, and yeah. you haven't heard from them yet, have you? No. no? Okay. And he's gone, too, by the way. He oh. left as well. Um, oh. So... Pretty interesting stuff. Yeah. Um, Dang. But speaking of video games and other things, yeah. I wondered if you saw this. Uh, PlayStation yeah. has now, and this is a lifetime of their machines, Yeah, has now sold more than half a billion units. Yeah. They, Did you know that? Yeah, they're coming out with a PlayStation. They're coming out with a PS4 that's $500 to commemorate this. <laughs> Any reason why it's more expensive? Well, all I can see is that uh, it's it's the PlayStation 4 Pro 500 million limited edition. will sell for $499. Uh-huh. They're going to make 50,000 consoles, so it's unique, uh, all individually numbered. Yeah. And it will have a translucent dark blue design so that you can see the inner workings of the console lit up blue when it's turned on. Well, that's cool. But not Which worth, is pretty cool, but... Not, not worth $100 extra dollars. Not worth $500, right? No. I think I, it's funny that they're like, hey, we've sold... We, and, and they have. They were talking about... I didn't know this, but uh, the original PlayStation was launched end of 1994. Yeah, because uh, they were supposed to do it with Nintendo. Yeah. And then they backed out. 
and then uh, they were like, oh, no, we're going forward with this, and they released it, and uh, Crash Bandicoot was one of the first games on there. Love that game. Yeah, me too. I've got it. It's in the closet over there. Nice. Um I love the PlayStation. Oh, yeah. Uh, it sold more than 100 million units worldwide. Yeah. And then PlayStation 2 sold... Uh, that was like the best-selling console of all time, I yep. believe. Which I didn't know that until yeah. I read this. 158 million yeah. consoles. The best-selling video game console of all time. Yeah, because it, well, it sold for over 10 years. Like, if you remember back when PlayStation 3 was selling, they were still selling the little PlayStation 2. Yeah. Like the smaller version of it. Um PS3, they only sold what sixty, seventy million. They didn't even list it in this article. Yeah, because it wasn't as many. It was, it was a lot. Less. It took a while. I mean, they ended up doing okay in the end, but in the beginning, it was priced out because yeah. remember, that was a six hundred dollar console. They just didn't. I mean, the PS2, plus it was backwards compatible. I think. Yeah, that PS2. Yeah, and yeah. PS3 was not. No, and well, they made it compatible for a little bit. Remember, and then yeah. they made a version that did. And then uh, there were so many problems with it that yeah. they just stopped it. They just stopped it. Um, I, of course, I have them all. I, yeah. Recently, the PS4. Um, yeah. But they didn't even list the PS3 sales. I guess they were that bad. But yeah. with PS4 and Vita combined, they have now pushed the total sales for the entire series to 525.3 million units of hardware. Amazing. Well, that, so that also includes PSP, I, I assume. PSP, right. Yeah. It's, it's, it, that's everything. Yeah. Um, wow. which is wild. Half a billion units. Yeah. Um, That's a lot of plastic. I, I still like PlayStation better than any other yeah. uh, console. Yeah. Xbox. I, I know I love the original Xbox and I have one still. I remember I found it a, uh, Goodwill for yeah. five, five <laughs> or three dollars. I found it for three dollars. That's crazy. Yeah. And, uh, it still works. Does a great job. So I bought like 25 games on eBay and now I got my old game collection. Um, I just thought it was funny that, that people would get the blue screen of death on the Xbox, or what was the red circle? Oh, red whatever, circle of death. That was is. Xbox 360, oh, yeah. and that happened to me on two 360s. So Which is, you know, it's, I, it's a Microsoft? I was pissed. <laughs> so I, that's when I moved to PlayStation. I was yeah. like, F them. Yeah. So then uh, a few years go by, I have PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One come out. Can't find a PlayStation 4 anywhere. Yeah. And I'm like, damn it, I want the next generation <laughs> console. Damn, I'll just do Xbox. And I do. But I get, like, none of my friends had Xbox. So I ended up, when PS4 became available, I traded it in, got a PS4. I eventually did come back to Xbox One because of its backwards compatibility. Yeah. It plays some Xbox original games. Yeah. Uh, and then it upscales them to a better resolution. Um, it plays a lot of Xbox 360 games. I didn't know that it did both. That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. And, and uh, like, yeah, for that, it's really cool. But um, I. But it's not better than the PS4, is it? No. no. PlayStation 4 had better graphics. Now, while the newest Xbox One X ha is a bit better than the, even the PlayStation 4 Pro. That's crazy to me that they haven't had to really come out with a new console. Well, it's, I mean, it's the same. It, it's the same, just more power, but now you have different versions of the game playing, like, you know, a better looking game on this. It's like having a different powered computer. Right. You know, and, and but yeah. they're just streamlining it. Um, but, see, that's the thing. Now you're making all these people pay four or $500 for an enhanced console that is still the same generation console. Yeah. So the next one will probably be the last of them because all the companies are talking about going to cloud-based gaming, meaning you don't buy a big piece of hardware. Yeah. You just get a little box and it connects to the internet and it downloads and does the processing of the game for you. Why not? Yeah. Um, and the, the technology is there. It's just broadband's got to get a little better before you can really go all into that. Yeah. Because a lot of people in America still don't have great, great internet. We have pretty fast internet here, yeah. um, but I tell you, it sucks when it goes down. Oh, yeah. You know? Uh-huh. But, yeah, I mean, that seems to be the way to go. I mean, I would... I, I kind of hate that in some ways. Mm. In other ways, I love it because I don't really like having to... That's why I bought that plug-and-play system. Yeah. Because I don't have to have games... I mean, if you look... If I open this closet over here right now, there's a, there's a trunk in there yeah. that has all of my PlayStation consoles and games... Mm -hmm. And it is just, it looks like a CD collection. Oh. You know, just full. Like, there's a whole box just full of games. Yeah. I probably had, for the original PlayStation, I probably had 50, 60 games. Mm -hmm. Close to that for the PS2. Just sitting in there. Yeah. It's just taking up space. So, 
I could get on board with it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it it would need to be really good. Yeah, and uh, it, it, yeah, I, I like owning games. Um, but yeah, yeah. Well, if you want to spend five hundred dollars, you can get this uh, translucent console with two limited edition DualShock controllers and headsets. I don't. I need. <laughs> I need four thousand dollars to buy a new MacBook Pro at some yeah, point in my me life. Too. That's gonna happen. Yeah. Well, it's gonna happen for you a lot sooner than it is. My Mac Pro is still doing it, but I, I priced it out. It's gonna be a four about four grand. Wow. Well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've been trying to convince Ashley to go ahead and pull the trigger on her laptop because I'm I'm basically have told her like into this year. Yeah. I want to replace this. Yeah. Um. So I wanted to go ahead and get hers <laughs> so that I can get mine. <laughs> yeah. 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 We'll do it. You... I mean, this is still doing great. Yeah. Actually, when I went to my cousin's house uh, yeah. the other day, he has this exact same computer. 2011. Yeah. Same computer. He did the same thing with the RAM. Yeah. Uh, upfitted oh. it to all four gigs. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I thought that was pretty funny. Yeah. But yeah, same computer. It's still nice. It still does a great job. Yeah. I I take really good care of it, you know. Well, you just leave it on a table and you don't Well, you know, I mean I cut it off for a few days uh, and you know, I don't I don't leave it running all the time. You don't make love to it. No, we pretty much this just cuz I have a, a MacBook Air. Yeah. So pretty much this is just for the show. Yeah. Basically. True. True, true, true. I'm curious to see what you replace it with if you're going to do another iMac or uh I think I want an iMac. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Well, the rumors are saying that because they just came out with the six core processors in the 15 inch computers. Yeah. And right now, the highest core processor in the standard iMacs are four. So it's like, well, wouldn't they? You'd think they would probably increase their processors a little higher. And Rumor Mill is saying that they're going to release new iMacs soon. So now that's the Rumor Mill. I don't know for sure. Yeah. But, um, I keep an eye out. I just really like this. Yeah. Um. I like the desktop computer. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't want to get a laptop. No. To use for this, it just doesn't make sense. Well, you could like so. So this is what I'm gonna do. Because you know, I was talking about doing the Mac Pro, iMac Pro. Yeah. I uh, I decided I don't need the iMac Pro to do the stuff that I'm doing now because the new computers are just so much more powerful. I was gonna get a 15 inch i9 processor. Yeah. Laptop, uh, top of the line Mac laptop, terabyte flash storage, and um, but the way you treat it is, I'm gonna buy one of those uh, 12 South docks, and what it does is you close the laptop, you put it in a dock. Yeah, I have two monitors, and I'm gonna buy a little dock um, that plugs into the computer that I plug those monitors into, which will also give me a bunch of normal USBs. Right, um, and then I'll have a RAID. Because uh, right now I have a Mac Pro with four hard drives in it. So I would get a little RAID that could take four hard drives and connect that to another port. So essentially, the laptop, even though it's a laptop, is treated like a desktop. Because yeah. it just sits there and everything else is external. I'll have the external keyboard, just like my desktop now. It just takes up a lot of space. And actually at work, that's what a lot of people do. Yeah, um, They have that dock. Mm-hmm. Which, you know, that's an idea. Um, yeah. Um, in this particular setup, that would probably be a space thing for me. Yeah. Um, I mean, well, you would essentially, you just have to buy another monitor. But, I mean, if you're, like, honestly, if you're only doing the one monitor thing, um, I mean, the IMAX have 4K and 5K displays. Yeah. They're just very good, so. I really, I, I'm in love with this computer. I don't, I mean, I don't, I think it will last quite a bit longer. I just don't want to risk. Yeah. You know. That's what happens if we go down. Yeah, exactly. And so, TV Echo goes with it. That's why the only thing I do with this is this show right yeah. now, you know. And, and when we're not doing the show during the week, I pretty much leave it off. Yeah. So it doesn't, you know. Die. So it's running strong, but, uh, yeah, by the end of the year, yeah. I think I'm going to need to replace it's it. probably vintage this year, I think. Um, they no longer support it at Apple stores. Oh, yeah? Because it's okay. 2011. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is the year that they uh, yeah. cut that off. So it makes even more sense. Uh-huh. But we're going to get her uh, laptop first because her laptop is very old. 13 inch? It's. Uh, well, she's got a 15 now, but yeah. does she want to stick with a 15 or go to 13? Well, we talked about this, yeah. and I think that you were mentioning that the 13 is. Plenty. Well, they did, they just doubled its processor. Yeah. It's cheaper. To, to quad core. Yeah. The 1799 model, They now it's a quad core 13 inch instead of a dual core, where yeah. it was just a couple months ago. So it's 87% more powerful than the one the one year before it. Yeah. And uh, I don't think she's against going down. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it, it, 
either way, it's going to be better than what she's got. Yeah. So pretty much, you're looking at either seventeen ninety nine or twenty three ninety nine. So yeah. you need to <laughs> if you want the fifteen inch. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And you know that's so much more that. that it really doesn't more. sound like when you say the numbers, but it's substantial. That's a, that's a lot substantial for amount. two extra inches, and it, she's not buying it for the power. Yeah. She's buying it for the screen size. The, okay. But, but I have to say, that laptop she's got has really... Oh, yeah. I mean, got the money out of it, for yeah. sure. Oh, for sure. For sure. Yeah, it's done so, good. Very, very cool. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll see, but by the end of this year, I'm ready to... Re- this one needs to be replaced, I think. Yeah. Well, hey, if you want to replace mine, go ahead. <laughs> If, I, if you're just giving out computers, I'll, yeah. I'll put me in line. Yeah, why not? Uh, actually, put me ahead <laughs> of you, because uh, you know yeah, we, 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 I, you can borrow my computer if uh, if yours goes down. Yeah, <laughs> that's how that works. Well, Derek, that's our show. Yeah. So, like we talked about before, like the newspaper article said to the Echo Radio or to the Echo dot com. Excuse yep. me. Um, Tweet that, us at to the Echo Radio. Yeah, uh, of course. Like us on iTunes. Comment. Um, yeah, man, I, we're we're we got some good ideas for sketches coming up. I'm excited about this one. I was telling you before the show. I'm really excited to write it. We have a name for the town now, Justice City. Yeah. <laughs> and now, now we're gonna see what happens to Val after. Uh, well, you're writing that one, but yeah. Um, what happens to Val now that his wife is his dead? His wife is dead. I, I, I'm sure you probably did that because you were tired of relying on my sister to do the voice, <laughs> but um, I get it. It's no, okay. I have an idea of where I want him to go next, yeah. but it didn't make sense unless she was out of the picture. Yeah, so there so, you go. there you go. The inner workings of Nick O'Kelly. Well, that being said, I'm Derek Daisy. <laughs> I'm Nick O'Kelly. And we'll see you next time. Yep, have a good one. the Echo. <laughs>